Students in this aesthetics clinic are using each other as clients in preparation for their next step. And instructor Barbara Goodwin explains the procedure they'll follow. They first start by doing a client consultation card where they will ask the client uh, questions from what type of medication they're on, uh, medical history, products that they're using, um, if they've had any surgery, and it's very in-depth because the machines that we use, there are some contraindications that if, you know, for instance, diabetes, um, high blood pressure, um, medical issues, some of the machines cannot be used. They will come in and drape their client, uh, and they will do a proper cleansing and an analysis with the, um, what they call the loop, which is a magnifying lamp, and after the magnifying lamp, which will magnify the skin, you know, five times or more, they will use a woods lamp. And the woods lamp will tell where there's hyperpigmentation. It's the ultraviolet light, the black light. If there's any hyperpigmentation, if the skin is lacking in, in oxygen, um, and that will give the students an opportunity to analyze the, the client's skin condition and skin type that they have. Um, then they will go to a proper cleansing and from the cleansing, then it's going to be their expert opinion on what m machines they want to use, whether it be the brushes, the high frequency, the disincrustation. There are many different machines. This is an eight-in-one machine. It has eight functions. And they can choose what they feel their client needs. Um, if there are any uh, blackheads or clogged pores, um, pustules, they, they will learn to lancet any that have to be opened and they will clean the nose area, the chin area, the cheek area, wherever there's clogged pores. They will do that. And then there's a massage. Um, they've learned a 16 to 19 step massage that they will do. It's very relaxing. It stimulates the blood circulation, um, brings any debris out of the skin that hasn't already been brought out by extractions because then the next step is the mask and they will mask uh, depending on skin condition and skin type again um, and then they will follow with um, more than likely the high frequency which helps to penetrate product that has an antibacterial property in it that, that gives an antibacterial film to the skin it's very good for acne skin and then they will follow with a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it. Department Chair Dr. Donna Nathler Shirley makes sure the program remains ahead of the curve People don't realize what aesthetics is, but it's skin care, and it, it includes more than just, just facials. And we are um, in the, the modern era with our program because we also do certification in microdermabrasion. So that's the, the trend in the salons and with the estheticians. And so we're trying to keep up with the trends in the, in the salons and spas. So we are now. Uh, teaching microdermabrasion as well as basic facials and, and uh, treatments. As the students learn those treatments, they look to the instructors for their expertise. If the student feels comfortable that they're doing okay, then they won't call on us, but they can call on us anytime they're with that client. The client knows that they're a student, that they're in school, and that we're readily available for them. So we will interact as much as the student needs to feel comfortable. The students and the instructors accommodated this filming by allowing the overhead lights, but this is not how the facials are normally done. The dark atmosphere helps to relax the client, the music helps to relax the client. You want to put them in a uh, aromatherapy kind of mood. We do have mixers that we can, botanical mixers, excuse me, that we can use with the massage cream that helps to stimulate um, endorphins that help to relax the client. So the relaxing music and the, and the quiet light helps with that. The quiet light is also used by Joseph Emery, the head instructor of the massage therapy program, as he demonstrates to students in this lab. Now the QL originates on the posterior iliac crest, right? Yes, yes. And then it goes up to the 12th rib and over to the lumbar vertebrae one through four transverse processes. And it does what? Lateral flexion of the trunk. That's right. Or raises the hip. hip or raises the hip. That's right. The, the muscular system is our, what our structural anatomy is, part of our structural anatomy. We teach them all the bones, all the bony landmarks, all the muscles uh, from where they originate from, where they go to, what certain actions they do uh, in regards to flexion, extension, rotation, things like that. 
um, they learn 37 major muscles of the body, the important ones. And by the time they're done, they know the muscles. They know where their hands are when they're working. They know what every landmark on Mr. Bones, we call him Mr. Bones. Uh, they very personal with Mr. Bones. They know him. Uh, so that's what we do. That's how the muscles work in with the, the system that we have here. And we take what we learn in here and we go in there. And then we work on things in there. And we, we never stop talking about them. Um, we teach them how to read national exam questions um, because they're tricky. You know, there's a, there's a certain way that these questions are prepared. There's, there's always two answers that are right, but one is better. And Dr. Nafar Shirley feels their community service lives up to those standards. The massage program works with uh, the Myrtle Beach Marathon. In fact, we just got a plaque last year for 10 years worth of participation in the Myrtle Beach Marathon. Our students volunteer and set up massage tables and uh, massage the runners uh, so that they can um, relax the, their muscles and help uh, prevent um, cramps and, and that type of thing. They also worked with Extreme Home Makeover uh, when they did the, the house here a uh, year before last, I believe it was, they worked with a local chiropractor in a tent and they were so excited because the students got to massage Ty Pennington, you know, of, of, the, of the show. So we do community service um, with the programs. The aesthetics program last year uh, worked with hospice and the caregivers, we gave them a, a free spa day and they came in and, and uh, got pampered for a day. Massage therapy is a three semester program. We do clinic in the summer. There again, we only begin massage in August and um, then in, in the summer, starting in 1st of June, we offer massages to the public. The nail tech program uh, is one semester. This program is the the least time consuming that we have of the three personal care programs. Nail instructor Brandy Hux describes their semester. In August we start um, teaching them their basic table setup, their safety and sanitation. We move into the anatomy of the nail throughout the, you know, the middle of the semester. In October we start the clinic which gives them uh, a, more of a live experience how it's going to be when they get out of school. Mechanical hands gives them like a model so that they can practice their filing techniques, their application techniques. It shows them how to perfect their acrylics, their gels, and they can do all those services on the mechanical hand before we start with the clinic. For two months during the semester, they work in this clinic mastering their skills in manicures, pedicures, and nail art. And before they complete the program, they're prepared for the state board exams. Preparing them for um, their board, we offer them as their exam, and we do this at least three times, is a mock board. I act as a proctor, which would be basically what they would do when they go to board. They do each service, just like if they were at board. That way, if they do make a mistake, they make it here, and we can perfect it. That way, when they go to board, they pass with no problem. When they get out, they have to take the, the State Board of Cosmetology test for nail. Uh, technician, which is both written and practical, and pass that in order to practice. But we're doing gel nails, we're doing uh, acrylics, we're doing the nail art with the compressors. So they're getting a lot of education as far as nails. And also, again, we have uh, personal image and or professional image, and we have sanitation that's taught in, in the nail technician course. So. Uh, we are very mindful of sanitation and uh, contamination of, of tools and implements that are used in throughout the, the programs. The decor that we have, uh, we have white walls and I want people to know that we run a clean school, that, that it is sanitary and when you walk in and you see the white walls, you can tell if it's clean or not, so uh, we want that image. That's one of the gifts my, grand, my kids and grandkids give me. Uh, instead of presents, they give me uh, treatments here. For Techno, I'm Lacey Rudolph.